delivery for John Lennon? Um, sign this, please. I've uh, worn out your Imagine album. It's great. Thanks. You have something there, huh? Do I have something there? Yes, 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 yes. Lucky guess! Oh, come on, Bob. You opened up. You feel great admitted. Oh, Mr. Psychology today, huh? So oh, sensitive. Oh, it's my turn so to be sensitive. sensitive. It's my turn to be sensitive. I'm trying to be sensitive here! Look, Bob, I, I think it's great that we solved your problem. It's a very spiritual man. What's up, Gino? I had a cold keys Elvis pay, and of course, I was sick. And the amazing thing is that the shape of the sick on the pavement was exactly in the shape of Graceland. You want to see dedication? Up the curtain, go Becky. Yes, officer, is there something wrong? Have you seen this boy? Hello? Can we talk later? This is not a good time for me. Just a moment, I've got a call waiting. Excuse me, miss. There seems to be a mistake. I believe I ordered the large cappuccino. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's practically a bowl. It's like Campbell's cappuccino. <laughs> My size. Please, <laughs> aidez-moi. <laughs> it's uh, wizardry, what can I say? Pure mastery of the art of the game of hockey. Popular stars like Jason Priestley, Kiefer Sutherland, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers grew up with sticks in their hands and still love the game today. A limo's just pulled up. Let me see. That's Dr. Evil's cat. How can you tell? I never forget a pussy. Cat. Oh no, he's gone away. My God, Vanessa. Mr. Dan says his personality type is a malignant narcissist. And that is they envy, they acquire, and then they devalue, and then they jettison. And I think that the play... Come here, darling. He envied, and then he devalued... You're, have you got it? You've got it. Listen, mister, you better have it. Where are you going? Huh? I left it in the car. <laughs> Steve, um, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I got some friends, and, um, I wanted to find out about maybe putting them on the list. Do they look like you? One's my cousin. Okay. Let me explain something, kid, okay? Okay. You all right? The mystery team has a shot, right? A shot at what? Hey, listen, buddy. Do you know where a guy can get a rub and a tug around here? What? I don't recall your name, but your Fez is familiar? <laughs> My name is Mustafa, and I'm the man who will be killing you now. Dr. Lee! Lady with superpowers being born in a barn. What? <laughs> no. What is How's that, that going to help me? It's not. <laughs> you know, when I figured I'd come to you and talk to you because, you know, well, you know, you're, you're, you're famous like me, but more so. And that makes you a better and smarter person. Well, that's true. So tell me. Oh, Basil, what's happening, baby? A lot is happening, Foxy. Dr. Evil has escaped. The good news is that one of our agents has managed to infiltrate Dr. Evil's organization. Excellent, Basil. We've been trying for years to get a mole inside Dr. Evil's lair, and we now have that mole. Yes. Ah. 
And here he is. Because I was here by myself because somebody else wasn't here with me, so it was all different. So I remember that day was really distinctly. I'd stick the peaches up my ass if it would do something, sir. I'd have a whole crate up my rectal vault if I meant that I didn't have this frickin' eye. Hi, I'm John Whitney. Maybe a little too long. This one, head of the Royalty Flight Attendant Trainee Program. Tell me, why do you want to work for Royalty Airlines? Um, I believe that I have a lot to offer your airline. Because but we can have lots of good fun, that is funny. Oh. It's fun to have fun, but you got to know how. Hebble. Oh. <laughs> You're an expert on love. Yes, I am. Why do you think Darren Roanoke threw away his marriage? Well, in my book, I know you are, but what am I? I explain that when love goes wrong, nothing, nothing goes, goes right. right. Yes. I've read it. It's impressive. Yeah, it's nothing short of a masterpiece. So do you think... How will I know her? I suspect that won't be too much trouble for you. Your contact is Bridget von Hammersmark. Bridget von Hammersmark? <laughs> the German movie star is working for England. Yes, for the last two years now. One could even say that Operation Kino was her brainchild. Pop quiz. How much does an Oscar weigh? How much does an Oscar weigh? I know, I know, I know, I know. What How it is. much does an Oscar... 8.5 pounds. Yes, Mr. Clyde. Get in the knife box. You're too sharp to live. Here's a snicker. It's fun-sized. Mm. Yes, I... Be When rich villains have need of poor ones, poor ones make what price they will. Come again? I want more money. Yeah. Okay. What is that? It's an epic poem. It goes on forever, six bloody minutes. I pity your wife if you think six minutes is forever. <laughs> and do you know what? We're going to release it as our single. <laughs> Not possible. Anything over three minutes and the radio stations won't program it, period. And what on earth is it about, anyway? Is it just me who fancies claret? I like to have it going in one hand and tea in the other. We're in a bit of a predicament, Paul. Thank you for taking the time to see us. Valerie, we're prepared to do anything we must as gentlemen. Oh, Bounder! You cheat! You disgust me! History will redeem me! I can't...